My office is in Nielsen Hall on the campus of the University of Oklahoma. If I want to know where the parking garage is relative to my office, I might consult a map and I would find that it is 300 meters away in a direction that is 35 degrees west of north. So I could represent that as a vector. I've written that vector here. I've called it C with a vector symbol. It has a magnitude of 300 meters and a direction of 35 degrees west of north. But I'm not going to walk to the parking garage along that vector. What I didn't tell you is the building where my dean has his office is right between there, and he probably doesn't want me walking through his office. I will probably take the sidewalk that goes directly west and then take the other sidewalk that goes directly north to the parking garage. Now I can represent these as vectors as well. Let me call the walk directly west a vector A and the walk directly north the vector B. And so you see that they both get to exactly the same place. So the vector C is equivalent to the vector A plus the vector B. I've written those vectors here. I would measure the first vector to have a magnitude of 172 meters, and that's directly west. And then the other vector had a magnitude of 246 meters directly north. And I've walked through what we call the tail-to-tip method of adding vectors graphically. So first, so <laughs> we know what we're talking about. This part is called the tail of the vector and that part is called the tip, tip of the vector. So the tail to tip method of adding vectors says you start with the, the first vector, here's A, now you take the second vector and move its tail to the tip of the first vector. So here the tail of vector B is at the tip of vector A. Then, to find the result of those two vectors, you put the tail of the resulting vector on the tail of the first vector, and then you draw the line to the tip of the second vector. So that's the tail-to-tip method. Note that vector addition is commutative. That means that adding the vectors A plus B gives you the same result as adding the vectors B plus A. If you take the B vector first, you go up here, and then add A, that gives you the same result. Note the method. First, find your vector B and place it, translate but not rotate, where you want it to go. Then take the second vector, translate but not rotate, so that its tail is at the tip of the first vector. Then go to the tail of the first vector draw a line to the tip of the second vector, and that's the resulting vector, which in this case, the vector C again. So let's check. Let's say we didn't know what C was. We can calculate it using basic trigonometry. We know the lengths, the magnitudes of A and B. And this right here is a 90 degree angle, which means I have a right triangle. So I can find the magnitude of C because c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And I put that in my calculator and I get 300.1666, so 300 meters. I can find what direction it's in. This angle, theta, since this is a right triangle, I know that tangent of that angle theta is the magnitude b over the magnitude a. B over A is 1.43023. That gives me an angle of 55. This angle is 55. That means this angle is 35 because the total has to add up to 90 because that is a right triangle.